What's going on, everybody? Good afternoon. Hey. Uh, greetings and salutations. And a Laurel and a Yanny to you. And you and you. Uh, my name is Alan Cox. Thanks for showing up. Welcome. Say hi to Bill Squire, who's here, too. Hey, what's going on, everybody? How you doing? Creepy hugs. Mm-hmm. Pound Cake is back behind the glass. Say hello to him. Happy hump day, white people. It is a hump day, isn't it? It is. And sitting in today for Erica Lauren is Erica Lauren. I've been waiting a really long time to say pageant wave, everybody. Congratulations. She's back. The conquering hero. She's... I don't know what that what, what, is. What did you conquer? Oh. You're conquering. Yeah. Yeah. Conquering. Yeah. Well, welcome back. Thank you so We've much. We've got a lot to... Nothing has happened since you've been gone, so don't worry about it. Not a single Not thing transpired. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. sure it was the same for you. <laughs> Not nothing, really. We had, um, we weren't really able to discuss it for legal reasons, but what we did, and Bill and I thought this would be really funny, we concocted this hoax uh-huh. that Erica was out dealing with some health stuff. She's been in Costa Rica for the past 15 weeks with the Peace Corps. They say it's the toughest job you'll ever love. And now she's back. She's giving up herself to the fine Costa Ricans. She did come back with one less toe. Which is, <laughs> Casually. Again, I, I can't she's talk about that. She's toe up from the flow up. She's toe up from the flow up. Yeah. I had the baby. Yeah. 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 Yay. Yay. Good. Yeah. The child is born. It's a girl. Mm-hmm. Oh. What little, were the other? What were the other speculations? Um, oh, how was rehab? Rehab. Yeah. Um, was harder than I thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched a thing on John Oliver about rehab. Kind of a scam sometimes. Sure. Yeah. Still on like eleven steps. Yeah. Right. I haven't okay. made it to the twelfth yet. I well, it's harder to take an extra step with, <laughs> when you're missing a toe. A th- yeah. <laughs> Shopaholics Anonymous is, uh, it's very, uh, it's very specific. Yeah, is there a rehab for home goods? <laughs> oh man, there should be. There so, should be. So you've been out. Welcome back. Thank you. Again, people thought listeners, when they'd say, hey, what's going on with Erica? You know, like I said, for legal reasons, I, I didn't know anything because you and I literally did not talk. No. We didn't talk. We didn't no. really have it. This is the first time we're talking. Because and... you are technically my boss. I had right. some communication with Bill, and I had seen Pound Cake a lot, but um, they're more like my coworkers as opposed to my boss. So right. I was not yeah. able to reach out to anyone from management or anything like that. Yeah. So, so I was. I didn't really know anything. Yeah. And then you called me last week. Yeah, I got the okay to you know give you a buzz and let you know what the scoop was, but... Um, yeah, I just... I, I'm sure I you're did, tired of talking I, about it. I did get you uh, something. I got, you, I got you something. Did okay, you don't, because <laughs> yeah. I was like, fi- I was totally fine. Yeah, well, I still got to make it entertaining for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That is extremely sweet. Did Bill send a car for you, too, like that porn star? <laughs> <laughs> no, believe it or not, I drove here, but I do have a Crip tag now, as Pound Cake likes to call it. <laughs> as in Bloods and Crips? No, as in oh, uh, Handicapped. Oh. I was waiting Mary's the new 90. I was going to say, you got to keep that blue flag in that left pocket. That's You're right. going to go the Crip route. I was All excited right. when she got one, because I'm like, wow, I can drop her off places now. and like just He thought about how up. it was going to benefit exactly. him. Exactly. Whatever. I, I, you know him well enough to know that. I was taking her around. I, I ran some errands with her, and I was like, Wow, you really need one of these tags. Like, you know, she. she I hope you. F- I hope that in your downtime, you fully, um, you fully maximize Pound Cake's manservant abilities for you. Um, he did bring me dinner over on multiple occasions, uh-huh. and he did take me to a doctor's appointment, which right. I appreciated. And I, I loved it because I was just pushing her on the wheelchair, like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, were you making the noise when she did it? Yes. Were you going? I, no, yeah. definitely yes, I not. But he did steer me into a couple of walls. <laughs> Do you want to give people the Cliff's Notes version of what's going on? Sure. Um, I have been diagnosed with something, they call it POTS. It's called Postural Orthostatic Tachycardia Syndrome. What it means is, is that I don't tolerate sitting up or standing for long periods of time or really at all. My heart rate goes up too fast. Um, more than a normal person's would when I'm sitting up or standing. Right. That causes a litany of symptoms. Um, Bill is going to post a, a, a handy video to the website. Um, it's actually already posted. Okay. If you yeah. if you want to know more about what's going on, that's the easiest way to explain it because it literally is in layman's terms. It's a syndrome, so it's not a disease. I'm not going to be cured. There's no um, there's no there's no one treatment that works for everyone. Um, but I've gotten to the point where. 
I'm at least you know tolerating doing what I'm doing now, which is sitting here with my legs up wearing compression stockings. Oh, are you? So Look fancy. You. Mm. Oh, 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 so I told man. you, 30 is the new 90. Mm. Right. Um, By the it, way, did someone get shot on that pillow? Was that a mob hit? No, or what? it's just an old pillow. <laughs> I didn't want to put my feet on a new pillow. Uh huh. All right. Um, but yeah, I when I I did you know, faint at work, and that was very traumatizing. I didn't know what was going on at the time. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me about a month to get the right test done to confirm this diagnosis. Um, I've got a clip of that day, by the way. You do? Yeah. Oh. There you go. That's, that <laughs> was like, the last oh, time. God. That's the last time Erica was on the show. <laughs> no, it was so sad that when I logged into my computer, the the copy points for that live read were still up on oh, my desktop. Oh, beautiful. I'm like, really? <laughs> uh huh. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Cabinets of Granite Direct for uh, doing that, but um, yeah, it, it got pretty bleak. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I know I'm joking about it now, but it got pretty dark there for a minute because there was. A period of about two months where I wasn't leaving my bed at all. I, right. was, I was passing out a lot. Um, so I got out of that um, with some medication, with the help of the Cleveland Clinic, who I cannot say enough great things about, um, and wonderful nurses. And I have a specialist now who is knowledgeable. He's like the guy on mm -hmm. this topic. This is just a condition that not a lot of people know about. I'm not, I don't look sick. I'm not going to look sick. Well, some people might say I look sick. But <laughs> that's good. Well, we don't want to say anything. That's an opinion. But, uh -huh. um, but I'm not going to look sick. I'm, most people with this condition are my age, 30-year-old women, and they look completely normal. Um, oh, that's right. You're 30. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I'm feeling more like 100 <laughs> these days. I was going to so. say, I bet 30 sounds pretty good right about now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long road, but I'm telling you, the fans of this show, our listeners, Truly, and I, I'm not blowing smoke up anybody's butt here. I truly got me through this because there were days where I had zero source of joy, zero source of energy, and people were reaching out in every way they possibly could, um, to, you know, to wish me well. Mm -hmm. And and that really did push me to to get working and do what I needed to do because it does require constant effort. I have to constantly be drinking water, constantly be eating salty foods to increase circulation, and constantly exercising. Um, to what I can do. So it's it's just... Sounds like Pound Cake's life, except the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a complete lifestyle adjustment. I'm not going to be the same person. Pound Cake has uh, affectionately labeled me Savage Erica because I am straight out of Fs at this point. Right. <laughs> not one thing can bother me at all. Sure. No one can say anything to me that is going to remotely affect me the way what has happened in the last three and a half months Because it pales in comparison did. to everything else. You have no idea. Sure. When you get to a point where you are so uncomfortable, you you literally want to die. And I, it's morbid to say it now, but I literally Now feel free was, to test that theory, audience. Yeah. Let the trolling yeah, begin. Yeah, have seriously. at it. Come on. <laughs> Savage Erica in the building. No, but... For you, our new listeners, by the way, Erica is on the show. That's me. Back I, to you. I am a person. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that... I, I got to a very dark place. It took me a lot of effort in finding the right doctor, and it took me three months to get into the specialist. Right. So I, I know a lot of people may think, well, why did it take so long? You know, really, every day I was doing anything I could to improve. Um, but I think people who have medical conditions realize what a protracted process regular things are like sure. oh you need a checkup. I can get you in in August. That yes. kind of stuff. You know. And I found out very quickly. It's like you know. I know what I know what healthcare is like in America right now. Right. I have a full understanding of what it's like. And you know, God bless them. Cleveland Clinic does the best that they possibly can do, but there are just more people than there are doctors that can treat them. Mm -hmm. That's just the reality. Um, so it did take me a long time to get in to see the right people who know how to deal with this condition. You know, the prognosis is unknown. I don't know if I'm going to improve more than this. I don't know if I will go into remission and never have never deal with it again. Um, I don't know. But what I do know is I'm not somebody that's just going to sit on my ass and let life pass me by. But well, you might literally have to. Why? Yeah, technically. <laughs> well, yeah, with, with, literally. With your legs. But yes. figuratively. <laughs> figuratively, yeah. But with your legs up. This job has like kept me super focused. Like I had a date in mind of like I wanted to be back for the comedy tour. I, you know, I had my heart set on that. And I don't know that I'm, you know, I'm not doing like amazing. I, I wanted to come back to work like killing the game like i'm healthy i'm awesome this is amazing mm -hmm. that's not the reality the reality is i'm still suffering from this condition but i'm not going to let it get the best of me and i'm going to try to do what i can to 
be here and enjoy the show with you guys. I missed you guys so much. We missed you we too. Missed you too. That's um, why I got you flowers because I cared. <laughs> Alan, what'd you get her? A uh, piece of mail that was in our okay. office. He got me an okay text this oh, morning. Okay. Yeah. So that was her last night. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Something's yeah. never changed. And you, uh-huh. you thought I was blowing smoke up your ass when I told you that the fans had been calling in nonstop asking where you were. It was the most stru- frustrating thing in the world, not being able to say anything. <laughs> and, and, yeah. and, and, and this is the part where Pound Cake makes it about no, him. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, by the way, not to interrupt you, but when I, I am up to date on his love life, in case you guys were concerned that he oh. wouldn't immediately burst through my door to spill. Uh, t- Spilling all the beans on the it whole was a story. Joke. Um, no, but we I were... know exactly what his love life is doing these days. Are you kidding me? I saw you like once a week, so I'm not even. This isn't even like a oh, surprise. Oh please, me. Ian and I. He would come over, and Ian and I would just sit back and eat the food that he brought us, <laughs> and just let him, you know, spin his yarn. Sure. You know? Just let him go. Mm-hmm. Watch RuPaul's Drag Race therapy session for you. Yeah, we did watch RuPaul's Drag Race. That got me through some tough times. <laughs> <laughs> um, but honestly, I just want to. I really just want to say thank you so much to everybody that like really was like rooting for me and um like i said the cleveland clinic and all their nurses um just great people i've met some really really great people during this and you really see a lot of sides of people when something happens to you that people don't understand there are some people that don't know how to deal with it Mm -hmm. some people that do and i'm just lucky that i've got a great support system and family that you know really helped me out yeah so anyway um well we're happy to have you back Happy to be back. Yep. Um, and I'm kind of going to reiterate this maybe I see, later. I, but... Bill, respect her enough where I'm not going to treat her any differently than I ever have. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there you She's handy capable. Okay. All right? yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just, I, you know, Bill posted that video to the website. Feel free to refer to that if you're wondering what's going on with me or whatever. I don't want to continue to talk about it because I want to live my life. Yeah. And I want to do the show and mm-hmm. entertain people. And I don't want it to be the Erica Health Hour, you know. And honestly, I can't really, I know there's going to be people that want to reach out because maybe they're looking for a diagnosis or whatever. It would be absolutely impossible for me to give everybody the information that they need. I am going to be participating in a study that's um, being done on this condition. And that's going to be my way to give back and, you know, help other people in this process. Mm -hmm. Actually, the cure for the disease or whatever is wrong with you listening, Not I'm not saying Erica, (laughs) is... Decisions aren't my thing by Bill Squire. <laughs> Congratulations. Which, by the way, also got me through some rough times. Oh, thank you. Oh, look at me that. Too. Yes. Yeah. I was listening Normally, to Normally, it comedy. elicits a gag reflex. <laughs> Hers, you know, to have yeah. the opposite effect. It yeah. taught her the difference between passing out and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, laughter is the best medicine. Right. No wonder you got well so well. All right, well, welcome back. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We got to do a new uh, YouTube thing. No. No, yeah, no, no, no. Just do it. No. Just do it. No. Just say subscribe and share. 